Hey everyone, this is Steven. Today we are going to be colorizing a black and white image. So to start off, I just went to Google and searched for a uh, World War II image because those are usually black and white. And I came up with this. And okay, so let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I'm going to make a new layer, which is just a blank layer. And then grab a peach color. That's probably good enough. Maybe a little bit darker. Okay. And I'm going to to just paint his skin areas, which is just his face. So let's go ahead and it doesn't have to be too neat. I would really recommend using a stylus or a tablet type thing. Um, my desk is a little too messy for me to do that at the moment, so I'm just going to use my mouse. So it's going to be a little bit sloppy. All right. Um, after I fill this in, I'm going to just use the eraser tool to uh, erase the parts that went out too much. Okay, so now that you have that painted, come on over to your layer properties and select soft light. And you can see it's starting to look, it looks pretty good. So let's grab our, our eraser tool. Let me size that down a little bit. and a little up here okay and then I'm going to zoom into his eyes and size this way down and just erase everything over here alright so now that we have that we can zoom out and see what it looks like looking pretty good let's make a new layer and zoom back into his eyes and grab the white paintbrush size this down and I'm just going to paint in the white areas of his eyes again I'm just being sloppy and then I will go over it with the eraser tool after I put down soft light and just erase a little bit around here Alright, so make one more layer. Well, there's going to be many more, but one more for his eyes. And let's change to a brown color. We'll give him brown eyes. Just so they don't stand out too much. So go back to your brush tool. And I'm going to size this up to about here. And I'm just going to click a couple times. Same with here. Change this to soft light. Grab the eraser tool and erase again. zoom out and you can see it's looking pretty good pretty good all right let's make another layer and we are going to paint his helmet so I'm going to grab a green color for the camouflage kind of dark and I'm going to quickly paint in this area here the darker the darker spots not being too neat with it Alright, make another, another layer, and let's go a little bit lighter, and paint in some here, and up here. Okay, I'm just being quick with this because it's a little boring to watch. So let's go underneath the two layers that we made, and grab a lighter color again and just paint his whole helmet so you can see this camouflage look that I'm going after okay let's turn all of these to soft light and let's start erasing a little bit grab the eraser tool and let's just erase the obvious parts Um, 
last layer. And then I'm going to combine these three just because I don't want to mess with oh I don't want to mess with them later and go to soft light. Okay. And now let's go ahead and do these bands right here, or let's do his shirt while we have this green out. So grab let's keep with the same green, grab your paintbrush and let's just paint on his shirt. Soft light again, eraser tool, and erase the background, and on his straps. Okay, make a new layer, and let's grab a brown color, and just paint, oops, and just paint this on. Again, soft light, eraser, and over here. And then just for a final touch, let's make his lips a little bit redder so they look more alive than a dead guy. So that's probably good. I'm going to zoom in and put on some lipstick changes to soft light and that is way way too red so I'm going to turn down the opacity just so they're a little pink and then one final step you can do or you can just skip this all together it doesn't matter go to right above the background layer and let's just choose a dark green color, your paintbrush, and let's fill in this background real quick. Grab your eraser tool and erase. I'm just being really, really sloppy with it because it's a boring process to watch. So let's uh, oops, drag a new layer right underneath that layer we just painted. Grab a blue color. And let's paint the sky. Change it to soft light. And soft light. And it looks like it was a colored image. That's That's all the steps that we need. We can fix this up a little bit by erasing some right here. And that's the, as far as I'm going to go with it. Uh, you can group all these together, Control G, that we can see before, after. Very nice. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have anything you want me to do a tutorial on, just request it in a comment, and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.